Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Father. And welcome to our liturgy here in the beautiful courtyard of Holy Rosary Church and Mary Mother of God Parish. As we celebrate the feast day of St. Apollinarius, the first century bishop uh, and, we, and martyr for the church. So in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Thank you. <coughs> Let us call to mind the fact that we are sinners, and we'll ask God for his great and loving mercy. We were sent to, to call and humble the heart, heart right. And so we ask, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. We came to give sinners light in the darkness of their sins. And so we ask, Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You always plead for the redemption of your people. And so we ask, Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Direct your faithful Lord in the way of eternal salvation, which the Bishop Saint Apollinarius showed by his teaching and martyrdom, and grant through his intercession that we may persevere in keeping your commandments as to merit being crowned with him through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Micah. Hear what the Lord says. Arise, present your plea before the mountains, and let the hills hear your voice. Hear, O mountains, the plea of the Lord. Pay attention, O foundations of the earth. For the Lord has a plea against his people, and he enters into trial with Israel. O my people, what have I done to you, or have I wearied you? Answer me. For I brought you up from the land of Egypt, from the place of slavery I released you. And I sent before you Moses, Aaron, and Miriam. With what shall I come before the Lord and bow before God Most High? Shall I come before him with burnt offerings, with calves a year old? Will the Lord be pleased with thousands of rams, with myriad streams of oils? Shall I give my firstborn for my crime, the fruit of my body for the sin of my soul? You have been told, O oh man, what is good, and what the Lord requires of you, only to do right and to love goodness, and to walk humbly with your God. The word of the Lord. Thanks. Our responsorial psalm, to the upright I will show the saving power of God. To the upright I will show the saving power of God. Gather my faithful ones before me, those who have made a covenant with me by sacrifice, and the heavens proclaim his justice, for God himself is the judge. To the upright I will show the saving power of God. Not for your sacrifices do I rebuke you, for your burnt offerings are before me always. I take from your house no bullock, no goats out of your fold. To the upright I will show the saving power of God. Why do you recite my statutes and profess my covenant with your mouth? Though you hate discipline, and cast my words behind you. To, to the, the upright I will show the saving power of God. God. When you do these things, shall I be deaf to it? Or do you think that I am like yourself? I will correct you by drawing them up before your eyes. He that offers praise as a sacrifice glorifies me. And to him that goes the right way, I will show the salvation of God. To, to the, the upright, upright I will show the saving power of God. Yeah, I know. <laughs> like Dave, I don't want you to trip. <laughs> the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Reading the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. Some of the scribes and Pharisees said to Jesus, Teacher, we wish to see a sign from you. They said to him, he said to them in reply, An evil and unfaithful generation seeks a sign, but no sign will be given it except the sign of Jonah, the prophet. 
As Jonah was in the belly of the whale three days and three nights, so will the Son of Man be in the heart of the earth three days and three nights. At the judgment, the men of Nineveh will arise with this generation and condemn it because they reprinted in the, at the preaching of Jonah. And there is something greater than Jonah here. And at the judgment, the queen of the south will arise with this generation and condemn it because she came from the farthest coast of the earth to hear the wisdom of Solomon. And there is something greater than Solomon here. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to the Lord Jesus Christ. The people who asked for a sign from Jesus were missing the point. And it was very obvious to Jesus, of course, and it should have been obvious to those Pharisees who asked for this sign. The sign is Jesus himself. It is the sign that leads to the Father. It is a sign that invokes the power of the Holy Spirit among God's people. He is a sign of the new covenant established in his own blood when he alludes to the fact that three days and three nights he himself will lay in the body of the earth, having given his life for the salvation of humankind. He is the sign himself. He needs no other signs to prove who he is and what he does. You have a greater than Jonah here. You have a greater than Solomon here. You have the very Son of God before your eyes, and him you do not recognize. Whom you do not recognize. This people did not follow the exhortation of Sirach that we just heard in the first reading today. My people, this is what I expect you to do, to love what is right, to do good, and to walk humbly with your God. If they had done that, they would have seen Jesus as the sign of God's presence, of God's love, and of God's salvation. Apparently, the Pharisees put their faith and their trust in other things than the very word of God himself. And we cannot afford to do that too. We must see that there is a greater than Jonah, a greater than Solomon, even a greater than Sirach here, and that is the person of Jesus Christ, whom you and I are so privileged to receive in the blessed Eucharist of this Mass. Jesus is the sign of our salvation, and he is the sign that will lead all of us to the glory of God. I invite all of you now to stand and together let us offer our prayers and petitions to the Lord, asking God to keep us humble to walk faithfully with him. Let the church be a sacrament of unity, teaching us to be people of trust, rooted in faith. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. That the servant leaders of our community work to guard the equality of our environment air, and water. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may greet the underprivileged and the handicapped, seeing in their face the countenance of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 
that we guard the sanctity of the Eucharist, always seeing it as our summit and source. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Let us pray for the soul of William Evans, whom this Mass is for this morning. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all those for whom you've been asked to pray and ought to pray, and all those for whom nobody ever prays, either in life or in death, today we pray to the Lord. The Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. And for the intentions that we offer during this time of the Novena of St. Anne's, that they may be embraced by her and presented to the throne of God, we pray to the Lord. The Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. And let us seek the intercession of St. Anne's daughter, our Blessed Mother, as she presents these and all of our petitions to her son, as we say, Hail Mary, full of grace, grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Bless you, Lord God of all creation, through goodness we have this bread to offer, which is given in human hands I made, it will become for us the bread of life. Bless be God for us. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Bless you, Lord God of all creation. Through goodness, we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands it will become our spiritual drink. Bless you, God, forever. Yes, to receive us in the of the sacrifice we offer. Humble the contrite heart. The Lord wash away my iniquity and cleanse me from my sins. And let us stand and pray. As a sign among us is Jesus himself that your sacrifice and mine today, in with and through him, will be acceptable to the Father. Praise and glory of the name, our Lord and of all his Look with favor, O Lord, we pray, on the offerings you set upon this sacred altar, on this feast of St. Apollinarius, that bestowing on us your pardon our oblations may give honor to your name, and we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. And it is right and just. To the right and just, I do it in our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you are glorified when St. Apollinarius and all of the saints are praised, and their very sufferings are the wonders of your might. In your mercy, you give ardor to their faith. In their endurance, you grant firm resolve. And in their struggle, the victory is yours, through Christ our Lord. And so, therefore, all creatures in heaven and earth sing a new song of adoration. And we, with all of the hosts of angels, cry out with loud voice as we all acclaim, Holy, 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 holy Lord God of us, heaven and earth, with your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is you come in the name of the Lord. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of our holiness. We call you therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them, like to do fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered buildings with passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. Supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, handed it to the disciples, saying, Take this all of you a drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenants, which we poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. 
When we eat this bread, drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks for have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring us to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Joseph, our Bishop, and all the clergy. And remember also our brothers and our sisters who have fallen asleep in the hilt of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them, Lord, into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her devoted husband, then Apollinarius, uh, whose feast day we celebrate today, and of course the great Saint Anne and her husband, Saint Joachim, and all of the blessed apostles, martyrs, and saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. May we merit to be co-heirs to eternal life. May praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. We pray as Jesus taught us, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses. As we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. He grant us peace in our days. In your mercy, keep us free from sin, and protect us from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, set to your apostles. Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. But not in our sins, but in the faith of your church. And graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. And with your spirit. And share that same sign of peace with one another. Peace Lamb of God. Take away the sins of the world. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world, forever and forever. Behold, behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world, and blessed are we who are called to the supper of the Lamb. O Lord, I am worthy to give you my life. Let us pray. Renewed by the great mysteries, we humbly pray, O Lord, that following the example of Apollonius, that we may strive to profess what he believed and to practice what he taught through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Almighty God bless us, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us come forth now for the reception of the Holy Eucharist. Thanks be to God.